Hey guys, Mike Suckman, Howard Hanna. So I wanted to take a couple minutes today to kind of talk about, um, well, follow up with my blog post yesterday. Um, if you saw that, I talked about why it's important to have a home inspection when you purchase a home. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of talk about some of the other contingencies that you as a home buyer can put into a contract. Um, I've run across a lot of buyers that aren't too familiar with the fact that there is a lot of contingencies that you can actually put in. And when I say a contingency, um, what I mean is that the consummation of the contract will not happen um, based on the results of these contingencies if you are not happy, as long as they're inside of a specific contingency window. Um, so typically, I mean, when I write contracts, I'm usually at 10, 15 days to have these contingencies go through. So a couple of these contingencies are, besides the home inspection, which if you don't know what a home inspection is, uh, it's pretty important. It's very important. So it enables you to go in, have a certified home inspector uh, go through the property, take a look at the property and look at all the mechanicals, um, look at the condition of the property, and just really get an overall good picture. It's not something that you are going to be able to see when you go and see a house um, just for the simple fact that when you're there you're looking at the cosmetics you're looking at you know is this house going to be exactly what I want um, are the bedrooms set up where I want them how's the outside you know is it have a big yard you're going to be focused on those things and that's why as um, a buyer it's important to have a home inspection have that inspector come through and really take a look at the bones of the property the mechanicals and all those different things um, at the end of that home inspection what he does is he creates a report um, I don't have one I wanted to grab one and have one with me for this just so I can show you how thick they can be sometimes but um, you can have a big report that will um, be in essence you know 20 30 pages that will list all the deficiencies of the house now some are minor um, some are mediocre and some are major so what we then do um, I'll sit down with you as the home buyer and we'll formulate um, basically a plan we'll take some of the top concerns um, typically we try to go with you know five or so of any major concerns that that home inspector kind of flagged and we'll go ahead and then put that into a reply to inspections and we're going to ask the seller to actually make those make those fixes pay for those or give us a credit you know those types of things so um, great negotiation tool and and I always 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 recommend that um, to any home buyer that I that I work with you know there may be certain circumstances you know um, but even new builds sometimes new builds needs them um, but you know again great great tool um, a couple other ones that are really important you have a wood infestation um, inspection that you actually can do. And basically what that is, is an inspector comes out and he'll go through and he'll look for any type of termite damage. He'll look for um, carpenter bees. You know, if you have a um, wood exterior, log cabin style house, um, they'll make sure that there's no deficiencies in the structural components of the property, make sure there's no live wood destroying insects currently in the property, um, but basically give you that, that report. So that's a pretty important one too. Um, a couple other ones you have, you have a contingency you can put in for deeds, restrictions, and zoning. And basically that's, you know, say you want to live in a um, neighborhood that has a homeowners association or HOA. Um, basically what you can do then is you can look to see what kind of restrictions they have, um, what kind of zoning issues maybe um, you might have. Say you wanted to buy a house in the country and you wanted to see if you were able to build a garage in the future or uh, maybe you wanted to have horses and you needed to see um, you know how much space you needed so that's an important one um, so basically you know you have 15 days or however many days we give that um, to go ahead and find out and once we find out if it's not to your satisfaction you can walk away from the contract keep your deposit money and, and move on to something else so um, another great way to uh, just double check things um, water service that's an important one um, especially out in rural areas where you have a well I want to make sure you test for different levels of nitrates and nitrites, um, you know, especially if it's in a farming area. Um, radon, obviously an important one as well. Um, on lot sewage, that'd be if you are, again, out in the country and you have a septic system that you're dealing with. Always, 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 if you buy a house with a septic system, have a septic inspection. It's so very important. You know, it's it's great to not have a sewer bill um, on a regular basis, but guess what? When that septic system goes bad or it needs replaced, 
you are going to be sending a little bit of money to um, to get that fixed. So take the step ahead of time and, and do that sewage inspection, sewer inspection, excuse me. Um, another contingency a lot of people do is property and flood insurance. Um, that enables you to make sure that you can get property insurance through your um, insurance company or another insurance company, um, especially important if you have certain breeds of dogs and things like that, just to make sure that there's not going to be any issues with you getting insurance on the property. Um, another one's property boundaries. Obviously, if you're getting something that's got a good bit of land or uh, maybe you visited this home and you really love it, but you're not sure exactly where the property lines lie, very important to um, have a surveyor come out and actually survey that. So again, same thing. If those property boundaries aren't exactly where you want them to be, um, or you know they're not what you thought they were, I should say, um, you're able to you know, get out of that contract. So another important one. And then lastly, lead-based paint hazards, um, where you can actually have an inspector come out and basically survey for um, lead-based paint that may be present in the property, which typically happens to properties that were built before 1978, um, before they had the standards in place. But those are some contingencies that you can put in. Um, went through those kind of quick. I do apologize, but um, you know, feel free to reach out if you have questions about any of those. But obviously, we get into a um, situation where I'm helping you buy a home. I'll, I'll make sure I go into a lot more detail on those with you. Um, but as part of my home buying Q and A, you know, I just wanted to kind of open it up to you guys. Um, if you're watching this live, you know, if you have any questions. Um, that you'd like to kind of field me and have me answer for you about home buying, I'd be happy to. Um, if you're watching on YouTube or on my blog, shoot me a message or um, you know send me an email. Let me know what kind of questions you may have. I'd be happy to help you out. And if there's something you want to see me cover or talk about during my home buying Q&A series that I do every week on Wednesdays, just let me know. I'd be happy to uh, cover those. I I try to you know typically go with things that I've gotten a lot of questions about you know in the past week or two. Um, as stuff to cover. But again, this has been an important one that I, I get a lot of is, you know, the inspections and what type of inspections can you do and, and how are how are they going to protect me when I buy a house? So again, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any additional questions, please reach out to me. Um, you can visit my website as well. There's a lot of good info there on my blog. It's uh, www.hersheyareahomes.com. Uh, backslash blog, um, or you can send me an email at Michael Seckman at HowardHanna.com, or of course, you can always call me or text me 717-383-0745. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and try to stay cool today and tomorrow.